All right, we're living my dream today. We're camping here at Peak One Campground in Frisco. And uh, I finally convinced Victor to go on a brew tour with me. So we're gonna go see how many breweries we can hit from Breckenridge to Silverthorne. Maybe they have kombucha. We just got started and I think I already lost Victor because if you haven't seen from our other videos, the elevation doesn't agree with him. And then to top it off, he just went and did jujitsu for two hours. And when he got back, I said, hey, let's go bike and tour all the breweries. So I think he's back there sucking wind somewhere. I'm such a nice wife. Torture my husband when I go into breweries. Okay, so normally from the campground, you'd go across to the hospital and hop on the bus to Breck, but there was a line of bikes waiting. So we're gonna head towards Frisco first and we're gonna make our way down towards Silverthorne. And then we'll hop on the bus and hopefully have priority and go all the way up to finish in Breck. Victor does not like that I told him to dress nice. Check out the cords. He does look good. here I highly recommend riding down through downtown Frisco. It's really The signs are but, everywhere. But he's polar opposite of me, man. No wonder he can pull it off. I'm super <laughs> chill. He's super like I can. I mean, uh, let me get a word. <laughs> but now he's super cool. I'm sure we'll cross paths. The beer was awesome. I'm already kind of buzzed though. Like one one brewery in. Okay, so what do you think your favorite beer there was? Oh, definitely the porter. The porter. The porter. What about you? I like Dos Mas. Dos Mas, Dos Mas was good. So good IPA. Well, it's a good IPA and it has a percent percent of the IPUs you like, right? Yeah, absolutely. I tried the cucumber IPA, that was kind of weird. It kind of felt like, you know when you cut the cucumber and you don't rub the end? You know how you're supposed to rub the end so it's oh, not, shit. so it's not, so it does not bitter? You yeah. know what I'm talking about? It yeah, felt yeah. kind of bitter. It wasn't like a... So one brewery in, and um, maybe because I'm cheap, I usually don't go for flights. And you know, like I said, Victor just trained jujitsu, and so he didn't want to drink. So I think I drank most of those. And it's funny because, well, one, that was way more, I'm super cheap. So that was way more expensive to have six tiny tastes of beer. I would have rather had my own damn pint. But we were just noticing like, okay, maybe I feel a little bit, but Victor's like, man, I'm on my ass. I'm like, you didn't even drink any of those. But I think really it comes down to, what? he's probably buzzed less than I am. But it's like some people just like that feeling and some people don't, right? Yeah, Rob's always giving me a hard time because I'm like, oh man, I feel that. Like, well, then maybe I, I notice more change than she does. But like, I always have a beer or a drink and I end up feeling like, ah, oh, it's time for a nap. Or he wants water. Yeah, like, why do you want like water? A crime. I said, hell, I'm going to get some water and she give me a look. Like, like we why have are you nine water? breweries. Okay, you are weak. <laughs> weak. No, okay, so isn't it maybe that that's just like the nomadic thing is like, you just said it, like, you just don't like the change. And if you don't know, we are like polar opposites, but we make it work. And so maybe that's what it is. It's like you drink a little bit and I like the change of... Uh, state of mind. Thank you. And he likes a stable state of mind. It's not it's true. Like a rock. It's not true. <laughs> I just enjoy chilling out and you enjoy like, oh, drink coffee. Oh my God, I can create, I can draw. Like, oh my God, let's climb that mountain. <laughs> oh, there's hills on this path. Victor's really going to hate me now. What? How are those legs? Can you talk? No. That's a sweet F-150 there, don't you think? Actually, my wife always gives me a hard time. It really says that's a sweet F-150. They say like, 250, a 350 acre. 
actually I'm quite fond of the dually but Ron says it's an old man truck but don't let that's for another podcast altogether or another another vlog altogether he used to have a black F-150 and I, I told him it. that's not a truck I love he needs it. a yeah. like we need a real truck we had a 99 Ram with like a lift that was so big that you couldn't turn the steering wheel and it, we only kept you got, it for you like two you got like that it's better <laughs> How many places can you take bike paths from brewery to brewery and have this kind of view? This is so cool. This is another one of the things that I love about Frisco. Check out these community gardens. It's got people walking up with their grocery bags to pick, get their produce. And it's right next to Outer Range, the next brewery. Next stop. Victor's going to order some water. You ordered water. I think this is gonna be my kind of brewery. I like yeah, this place. Yeah, it's stinky already. Stinky. Stinky. Yeah, it's Number 15 is a nitro filter coffee. I think I might actually have that. That brings me and Robin's energy. Almost the same. Is there like an end filter right here? This is how Victor and I stay even. If I do a 13 ounce beer to your 5 ounce rod of coffee, we will be even when we live here. leave here. No, I don't think so. But we can try. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna throw up. We ran across the street to try to catch the bus, but there's no driver, so we have like a couple of minutes to spare. Okay. And mind you, this really lady just biked 20 miles vertical feet, like 10,000 vertical feet the yesterday, place. but we ran from the that restaurant. The brewery was pretty, it was unique. If you like IPAs, I totally, I wish we had gone there first, just so I had had a, a mix of the IPAs. Seriously, I didn't think about you. Um, the, uh, the one I had was pretty good. It was a little too skunky though for me. But I, I wish we had done the, the sampler, the flight at that one to try different IPAs, but oh well. I highly recommend that, that brewery though. If you like IPAs, go there. We're loading, loading up our bikes on the bus. We decided we're just gonna head to Breckenridge because I don't think I can make it through all the breweries. That's where you get to recover. That's nice. So we made it to Breck, and this is where Gabby and I went and rode peaks. Victor loved that bike, that uh, bus ride here. Okay, let's go find the brewery, and if you haven't been to Breckenridge, it's such a cute okay. town, but make sure your wallet's ready for, for it, because things ain't cheap right here. All right, if you make it to the end of Main Street, but if you go up another block or two, there's a train station up here. That has a really fun playground my kids love, and it's a super easy place for you to park your RV. All right, I love Breckenridge downtown, and it's all those cute shops, and if you have money to spend, it's fun, but really the north side of town is so much better. Oh wait, this is the south side of town. See? I've had too many years. All right, here we go, Breckenridge Brewery and Pub. brewery because it's brewery. too yuppie. We're, we're a little hungry and we really don't want to sit and eat here and they had some okay. The vanilla stout looked good. The vanilla huh? porter would look pretty oh, good. No, yeah. So. If you're in Bre Breckenridge and walking through, I totally recommend this brewery. But for the brew tour, we're just going to go down to Broken Compass. That looks more our style. So. All right, let's give it a go. This wreck path is really what makes this Breckenridge, Frisco, Silverthorne, the whole uh, Summit Valley area so incredible and so desirable. This path can connect you to uh, down to Frisco, to Copper Mountain, to uh, Silverthorne, over to Dillon. It's, it's addicting actually. It's really addicting because you just want to get on the bike path and just go somewhere. At least I do. Don't tell me you like it here. My next adventure sport. Okay, this is much better. We get to Breckenridge, 
and it's just too claustrophobic for my taste. So yeah, it's cute and there's all these novelty shops, but like even walking into the brewery, there's just too many people for me. But it's been pretty fun doing this brewery tour and like seeing the difference in like even what like breweries. Yeah. Right. So anyways, here we are. This is like not quite halfway between Breck and Frisco, but a mile or so out of Breck. And I love, I think I like this area right here. It's like, actually it reminds me so much of Squamish. Uh, what's that brewery we love at Squamish? Backcountry? Yeah. Anyways, so here uh, we go. Let's try not to get run over. I don't know what this brewery is called, but looks like I don't know. Look at that. It's in the, in the, nice industrial, it's in the area. industrial area. Breweries and industrial areas that like automatically wins me over. <laughs> so the one in Steamboat Springs was pretty rad too. All right, here we go. Brewery. I don't think I can drink anymore though. I need some Rocky food. Down. We're gonna wrap this vlog up for today and I'm pretty proud we made it to four breweries out of the ten and only drank three of them. We're that pretty much sums me up. Like I a beer a day keeps a doctor away, but like more than one beer, I'm done. Like that's too much. Actually, I, I think, like I think you're ready to eat. That's I'm yeah, that's probably over you. Warrior style yeah. Warrior style works really good for me. Go 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 go. No food all day. I have my one beer, one half bottle of wine. <laughs> And then I'm ready. One and a half bottles of wine? No, just one half of a uh, bottle of wine. Are you sure? The problem is, it's great. We open a bottle of wine, and it's perfect because if Victor and Danny are there, Victor has a couple ounces, Danny has a couple ounces, I finish the bottle. But when they're not around, I finish the whole damn bottle, and then I'm like, I don't feel so good. So, kind of feels like that right now. I'm like, I need food. We hope we showed you a little taste of beer tour i hope you do better than us because we didn't make it very far but the experience was amazing if you're here a few days i think the good thing is like you can visit each one of them take a nice bike ride yeah i think i actually i'm starting to feel better but it's partially because i like i drink beers that are like steak so <laughs> i'm actually getting a little he's bit like a diesel food. engine it takes a while to warm up then, i'm like i don't know what the analogy I think, is i think robin is like uh sports car I just like used all my own thing, one little thing's wrong with it it's like 10 G's to fix <laughs> there's no fixing me no, you isn't. can't fix stupid no it's yeah. not that's not me I'm not stupid you can't fix um, annoying you can't fix I don't know you can't fix I, 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 we don't want to not fix this we don't need to fix this look at those cool houses up there imagine what it's like to live in those houses and be in that house every day for the rest of your life so really what happens we have a couple of beers and the conversation goes to do you really need to be rooted right yeah. what did i tell you do we really need to be rooted can't we just keep living I like know. this i just feel like i need to have some stability for my family and stability is an illusion stability responsibility is an illusion. But it's our not... broke SRV, I jerry rigged the bed with whatever scrap wood I have to hold it up, and now I'm thinking to myself, like, ah, okay, I can stay in this? Like, I don't know. Well, what do you think? I hope you keep following us. I have no idea where next we week will know. take us. We don't know. 24 hours changes at 180 degrees, 180 degrees. 